We've seen uh, many hundreds of Israelis filing past the casket uh, for a number of hours now, not in huge numbers, but a, a steady number coming. This is a chance for, for Israelis to pay their respects to Ariel Sharon, but also for politicians to come and pay their respects. And I'm joined by one of those politicians right now, uh, Silvam Shalom. You were uh, uh, Ariel Sharon's deputy. Um, we've started that process, inevitably, of trying to assess his legacy. What did he do for Israel? I think uh, he did a lot. He uh, served uh, the Israeli people and the Israeli nation for decades. He fought for uh, Israel. He was one of the most uh, important uh, people in the Israeli Defense Force. He was a very well-known general that uh, did uh, many things in order to keep the safety and the security of the people of Israel, especially, I believe, in '73 when he was the one uh, that uh, changed uh, the whole situation in our uh, war with Egypt, when he uh, succeeded then to move uh, to the other bank of the Suez Canal. And uh, since then, Israel, uh, of course, uh, won uh, that uh, uh, war. Uh, when he was in uh, politics, he was always thinking uh, out. He was, you know, n not thinking regularly. He was a man that always had uh, many ideas to implement them in a different way. And when he was a prime minister, he was uh, decided to uh, keep the Israeli safety by fighting terrorism. He didn't want uh, to uh, meet Arafat even once. He, he didn't, never shook Arafat's hand. Never, never shook his hand. And uh, even when he uh, took a decision uh, to disengage from Gaza, he didn't want to do it with the Palestinians because they were uh, heading by uh, Chairman Arafat then and he have decided to do it uh, unilaterally. Uh, but he did meet with Mahmoud Abbas. With Mahmoud Abbas it was uh, different, and uh, he uh, thought uh, that maybe in his third term it will be uh, more, uh, maybe uh, much easier for him to engage with the Palestinians when they are heading by uh, Mahmoud Abbas. But uh, we will remember him as a warrior, as a general, that one that fought for the safety of Israel since he was in his, um, when he was a teenager. And when he moved to politics, he did everything he can in order to serve the Israeli people, uh, to help the economy, to help uh, other issues. But first and foremost, when he was prime minister, he did everything he can in order to bring the safety, to fight terrorism that was hitting Israel then, and to try to uh, find a window of opportunity to have peace with the Palestinians.